Happy day, everybody. This is Jeff Yenser with a, another WordPress video tutorial. For more great uh, WordPress tutorials, visit howtowordpressvideo.com. Today, I'm going to cover some advanced editing for your WordPress theme with HTML, PHP, and CSS. And today, I'm just going to cover how to access it and talk about the two ways to access it and the advantages and the disadvantages of each, which is uh, number one is through your WordPress control panel. I'm just going to log in right here. And the second way is with Dreamweaver or some type of HTML editing program. Okay, and first, uh, very quickly, okay, so in this window here, I've logged into my WordPress dashboard at lalazyogavideos.com is the site I'm working on today. And if you come down here to Appearance, and you click on that, and it opens up, and you come down here to Editor. All right, it's going to open up all these files here. And you see your templates, and you see all these different files over here, footer PHP, header PHP, and and so on, your styles, your, your style sheets. And these are all going to be varying depending on the theme. And you need to understand what you're editing here is your theme. So if you change themes, um, none of the edits are going to apply. So these apply only to the current theme, which is currently active. Um, Here's the thing, this is easy to access. You saw how quick and easy that was for me to get to it. That's the primary advantage of doing it this way. Um, it's the only advantage, really. Um, the main disadvantage is that the undo function completely sucks. Okay, um, if I go, let me just go to one here. I'm going to go to header PHP. And, and again, I'm not going to really get into how to edit PHP or HTML or any of that in this video. It's just an intro on how to access this advantage is disadvantage. So let's say I come down here and I make an edit, and I'm just going to write something in here for fun. And I say, say I write the word Joe just by example. Now, if I press Control-Z for undo, it will undo it. And I can hit undo again. Now, here's the problem. If I type that same word, and I come down here and I hit update file. Okay, now when I press control Z, guess what? Nothing happens. I cannot undo. The only way to undo is to actually go in there and physically edit it out, and then come down, hit update file again. Um, not a very good way to operate, because if you do something which is really easy to do, which is to screw something up. And then you go back, you got to try to figure out what did I do, where is it in all these lines of code, how do I undo it, how do I change it. Very difficult to work with something like that. Now one option is that you can highlight it all, copy it, paste it into some kind of an editor like WordPad or something like that, a simple text editor, paste it into there, save it so you've got a backup copy and then edit this and work like that if you like to. That at least gives you some kind of a backup. Um, but editing in here is kind of like walking across a tightrope without a net. All right, so I'm going to go to a better way of doing it, and that is with Dreamweaver or some other type of HTML editing software, something that's designed to edit uh, HTML, PHP, and CSS types files. And you can see here, um, I, I've, I'm on the same website. You can see I've got the same files right over here. And I'll show you um, how to get to this, how to set this up. You actually, what you need to do first is set up a site definition um, in Dreamweaver or whatever program it is. And you need to enter in your FTP access information. Now this is going to come from your host. We're, we happen to be hosting here with, with HostGator, and they've provided us with the information, um, the, the host, the actual directory, and you want to actually put in here the directory 
that contains your WordPress installation. And of course, you're going to need your login and your password and set all that up just like you would any other website. I'm assuming that anybody that's going to use this actually has a little bit of uh, HTML editing experience and you know how to set up an actual uh, site in a program like Dreamweaver. But yeah, the, the uh, FTP information needs to be put in there, which comes from your host. And then what you need to do is navigate into the WP content directory, within that into the theme directory, and then you're going to find your theme, which in this case is 2010, and you're going to see now all these files. See, there's style CSS, um, which we got over here. And you can see right off the bat, this is kind of color-coded. It's got line numbers. And you can work with this a lot easier uh, from, uh, from a standpoint of a, of a web designer. And you have complete undo functionality. And you can also, what you can do is say, do a save as, if you like, and save a file as, as a backup and just give it a different name. And that way you have a backup file. So if you need to go back at a later date, uh, you can also do that. Um, so again, here's all your files. This is really the ideal way to edit these files. Um, so that's, that covers it for today. I really uh, like using a program like Dreamweaver a whole lot better than, than getting to it from the dashboard. But the dashboard is a quick and easy way to get to it and, and to make uh, quick changes if you need to do that, if you can live without the undo capability. This is Jeff Yenser. Thanks for watching. Check out more great video tutorials at howtowordpressvideo.com. Thank you.